We're at the Fushimi Inari Shrine. And we got here just at the perfect time because it's about to start raining. That's why we went just across. And we bought these umbrellas, so uh, we'll, we'll be protected. But uh, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. I think they brought an umbrella for kids. It's a little teeny. Yeah, it's a little small. But it fits Ava. I have the same one, so... Yours looks even teenier. It looks sort of like a baby. Oh, God. These three umbrellas came to 35 bucks US. It's pretty small. You think that's gonna do the trick? It's gonna have to. <laughs> I'm not spending another 40 bucks for umbrellas. <laughs> Can I get a return on these? <laughs> You're not returning mine. No, you like yours. You got like the miniature baby one or something. <laughs> baby one. You should have got a grown-up one. Okay, okay, stop playing with it. No, 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 not, not you. Yes you, can. yes, you can. Look at that. She's <laughs> swinging it like it's a lightsaber or something. Looks like it's... Whoa! Okay, okay. Maybe I should hold it, okay? Because you're like about to decapitate my camera. What did you say? Nothing! Are you making fun of me? No. Oh, very nice. I bought it by accident, okay? Wait, can I tell the camera something? Yes. Daddy has a baby on the floor. What? And then you think about what it is that you wish for. Okay, okay, okay. And then you make another bow. I think that's it. I could have maybe got some of the steps mixed up, but I think I think you clap first, and then you bow, then you make a wish, and then you bow again. I think that's what it is. Oh, we forgot the coin. That, I guess that means that our wish is not going to come true this time around. But that's okay, honestly. We've already made it like two, three wishes, so it's actually the same wish over and over again. So this is the main shrine of the Fushimi Inari uh, shrine area, right here. But uh, the official name is the Fushimi Inari Shrine Grounds. So that, I guess, encompasses the whole thing, including, the, I believe, the 10,000 gates that uh, you can actually, you can see on the way up as you're, you know, hiking all the way to the top. So we're gonna try to do some of that. We'll see how far we can, we can make it. I don't know that we're gonna make it to the top. Uh, we'll try, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, we're, we're gonna at least, uh, I don't know, I, I hope we can make at least a thousand. So we're just walking through the first portion of the gates and it's uh, it's really jam-packed with people. I'm actually surprised because it was raining and it's supposed to rain all day, like heavy rain. I'm actually surprised by how packed it is, but there's definitely a lot of people here. Maybe it's because we're at the bottom. You can see, as we're walking ahead, you don't see any inscription, but you can actually see them on the other side. If I'm not mistaken, I think these are the inscriptions of the people that have donated the gates. To, uh, to the shrine complex. Here 
we just reached our first stop point, I guess, after the first set of gates. It just started raining again. You know, the weird thing is that I don't know if those gates are supposed to stop the rain, but it felt like there was less rain over there than here. That's kind of discouraging, actually. We walked for about 20 minutes and we are just like literally right at the beginning of the mountain. Yeah, that has to be at least a two hour hike, if not longer. Stop! You want to talk? No! No! Maybe. <laughs> Church smells like insects around here. No. It smells like insects because insects poop here. No, not, not insects. <laughs> Incense. <laughs> That's <laughs> the best commentary ever. <laughs> but, but you're right, insects do poop here. Alright, I think she wants to walk, so I'll put her down. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we did call it quits pretty early on. I mean, once we saw that map where basically we walked for about 20 minutes and we still had like, we were basically one tenth of the way done uh, from going to the top of the mountain. Honestly, I that kind of discouraged us a little bit. Also, knowing that it's probably gonna rain, so we decided to call it quits, but it was it was really nice. We, we loved what we saw and uh, there was no fee for admission here. We didn't pay anything to get in, right? So it's free, which is pretty good. Fresh chicken yakitori right here too. I'm gonna go for one. I just have to find that 500 yen. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Get in the comments if he yanks it or if he doesn't. You'll probably be you'll probably be white. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Maybe nobody knows. <laughs> All right, so we managed to find a little spot to sit down. I don't know if you're actually technically allowed to sit over here, but on the other side, there's a sign that says, do not sit. I don't see a sign here. So if there's no sign, I guess you're allowed. That's just my motto. Let's taste out this chicken teriyaki. 
You can see that it's kind of smothered in that teriyaki sauce. Yes. Mm, let me taste it to make sure that it's not too hot for you. All right. Mm. Those pieces of chicken thigh, kind of fatty, but very tasty. Oh God. Okay, this wasn't a smart idea. This is actually really messy. A terrible idea. I don't know if you can see my shirt. There. I have it all over my hand. Oh my god. I look like an absolute idiot. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> no, you don't. You, you make a fashion model. <sighs> Thank you. That was really messy. But really good. No? Try their corn now. Oh my god. Okay, that's kind of embarrassing. Let me fix that. You, you think you have a boost now? Better? Better. Good. You think you can do fashion model now? Mm. The difference between teriyaki here and teriyaki at home is they really like smother the chicken in teriyaki sauce like they put a lot of teriyaki sauce on it At home, it's not I mean I guess it depends on the place, but usually you don't get this much teriyaki sauce like it's almost like soupy 